next recipe is really Greek inspired. Not traditional, but very authentic nonetheless. Grilled peaches, chili, and halloumi salad. So for this recipe, you'll need lovely fresh fragrant peaches, a selection of baby salad leaves, two fennel bulbs, red chilies, and for our dressing, we're going to use Glenisk Organic Greek Yogurt, one of my favorite, favorite ingredients, fresh mint and lemon. And of course, the halloumi cheese. Halloumi comes in a block like this, and you slice it up, and we're going to grill it. So this recipe, as you can see, perfect for the summer barbecue. Fresh, fragrant, vibrant ingredients. But if the weather is not playing ball, why not just make it on a pan inside? So I've got a lovely big hot plate, but you can easily do this on your grill of your barbecue or just a really heavy base pan at home. So to make it non-stick and to have something for the ingredients to cook in, we're just going to brush it very lightly with a very light olive oil that's not going to burn or a bit of sunflower oil. So if you're using a pan, you're just going to put a couple of drops in your pan. If you're going to griddle this on your barbecue, it's a good idea to coat the actual peaches, chilies, and halloumi in the oil first. Because as you can imagine, if you splatter this all over your barbecue, whoosh, you're going to have a little bit of an inferno going on. So the first things we're going to pop on are the peaches. So the natural sugars in the peaches are going to caramelize. You can hear that lovely sizzling sound. So we'll do them first. Now you'll notice with the chilies, I've got two chilies here, and I've just sliced them in half lengthways and scraped out the seeds. You're absolutely more than welcome to leave the seeds in. They're just the hottest part of the chili, so if you're serving it to quite a few different people, they might not have the same heat tolerance that you do. So just take a couple of minutes for the peaches to grill. But visually, you can see that the salad works really well together. We've got the orange, the peaches, the red of the chili, and the green of the fennel, and the baby salad leaves. So this is fabulous served as a starter, individually plated for people, on a lovely big platter. Even as a main course on a summer evening, it's absolutely perfect because of the halloumi cheese. That's substantial enough to make it a meal. So while that's cooking, I'm just going to talk about halloumi a little bit. So this is halloumi. It's a Cypriot cheese. It often has little herbs embedded in it, so don't think there's something wrong with the cheese if it comes like that. And it's a sheep's milk cheese. It's really, really compressed, so it's quite a hard cheese when you get it. And it is vacuum packed in a briny liquid. So just get it out of there, and we're gonna slice it up into quite thick slices that we're gonna grill. So halloumi itself, you cannot eat raw because it's quite a rubbery texture. But once you cook it, you'll see it goes beautifully golden and crisp on the outside and slightly melty in the middle. It is a good idea to either keep your halloumi warm in the oven until you're ready to serve it or serve it immediately because it does need to be a warm cooked cheese rather than a cold cheese. So let's have a look at our peaches and see how they're getting on. Those are looking great. So we'll just give them a couple more minutes. Oh, lovely. Even just grilled peaches um, with some finely chopped mint and a dollop of Greek yogurt would make a fantastic um, light summer dessert. We're just doing a savory version, obviously, for today. So our chilies. I like the idea of charring the chili slightly. It brings out a natural sweetness, as you do with peppers. Just squash them down a bit. So you'll leave your chilies to cool slightly before trying to chop them up. You don't want to scold yourself. Okay, so my peaches are looking great. We'll just turn them over once more. Perfect. We're going to put these aside on our salad platter until we're ready to assemble our salad. There we go. And our chili, just leave that to rest for a couple of minutes and we'll sort that out. A little bit more oil in your pan or on your giant big hot plate, which I'm lucky to have. And now we're gonna cook the halloumi. 
go. So with the halloumi, you want to make sure that your slices are a good sort of centimetre and a half thick. It will just make it much easier for you to turn. You'll notice there is a crack that runs down the middle of the block. So if it comes apart, don't worry about it. Absolutely not a problem. I'm a huge fan of halloumi, so I'm going to slice up a little bit more. There we go. Gorgeous. So what you get initially is the, the briny liquid sizzling out of it. Nothing wrong with that, just leave it alone. So while that's doing its thing, my chilies now have cooled down sufficiently for me to chop them up. So I'll do them two at a time. And I'm just going to chop them into thin little slivers. So on a diagonal, or oh, you can actually smell the sweetness of the chili. Absolutely gorgeous. Just grilling them a little bit has really enhanced the flavour. A little bit. It is easier to slice chilies and peppers from the fleshy side rather than the plasticky skin. This means your knife isn't going to slip. There we go. If you want them a little bit finer, you can run your blade through it again. But I quite like the long strips of the chili throughout the salad. And they're also big enough then to avoid if you're not a big chili fan. Get yourself a spatula. See how our halloumi is doing. That's gorgeous. So you want a really golden, golden colour on them. That's where the flavour is and the texture. It's very smooth cheese. So you want it lovely and crispy. Excellent. Whoopsie. So I'm actually just going to switch that off. There'll be enough residual heat in there to finish, finish it up. And we're going to assemble the rest of our salad. So fennel, lovely licoricey flavour. Now the bits of the fennel that you'll use are these little fine fronded leaves that are a herb, essentially. So they look fabulous as a little garnish. The little stalky bits you can't use, unfortunately. They are just too woody and too stalky. Not pleasant to eat. But what you can do with them, they're absolutely brilliant in a, um, a fish stock or chicken stock. Just going to borrow this plate quickly. There we go. Add some makalumi to overcook. I have this marvellous little gadget called a mandolin, a little handheld mandolin, perfect for doing fennel, but fennel is quite fibrous, so you want a really sharp knife or a mandolin to do it. So hang on to the little stalky ends, discard the very bottom of it because that's the stem, it's too woody, and then just carry on mandolin on the finer setting, the thinner setting, your fennel bulb. Lovely crunch in a salad. Now, depending on the size of bulb, you can either use two small ones or one large fennel bulb. I'm going to do a little bit more because I'm a huge fan of fennel. So we'll keep that going. Is the fennel really, really good for you? Fantastic for digestion and also really good for weight loss. It helps balance the old blood sugar levels. So overall, a really lovely, healthy dinner or lunch for the summertime. Okay, so my baby salad leaves. I'm going to gently toss these together. I just want to mix up my dressing quickly. So what we have for the dressing is about half a tub of the Glynisk Greek yogurt with plenty of fresh mint. The fresh mint is going to juxtapose really well with the heat of the chilies. And of course, lemon. In Greek cuisine, you'd use an awful lot of lemon. Lemon with everything. So we won't deviate from that. And lemon will actually bring out the flavor of the halloumi and the peaches. I 
actually keep a little bit of the mint aside as a garnish. You need your dressing to be thin enough, just so it's drizzling consistency. So that was quite a small lemon. We'll use a little bit more. There we go. Excellent. So a little bit of the chili in. And just toss this all together. Try and maneuver your ingredients so everything is mixed, but also that you see the glorious grilled peaches. salad leaf to avoid in this would be rocket because that's a little bit too peppery for our purposes. A little bit too Italian. We're aiming for the Greek. So halloumi, here we come. Gorgeous. And then we're going to drizzle over some of our dressing. More chili, more mint, more dressing. And voila. I'd be really happy to get this in a restaurant, or if someone was kind enough to feed me for a change, not the other way around. So this is a really fabulous modern take on a few very authentic traditional ingredients. And it really looks and tastes like summer on a plate. There you go. So that coolness of the Greek yogurt and mint is going to work really, really well with the heat of our two chilies. So a sprinkle of our grilled chili. Remember to wash your hands really, really well after this. Can't have the hostess in agony or in A&E with chili bones. And then very finely chopped mint. So there we go, our impressive, very shishi, grilled peaches, chili and halloumi salad.